Mike O'Shea, Jackson Jr. I'll see you tomorrow. Be kind to one another. Bye-bye. <laughs>
That's where we could see possibly those waves double overhead for tomorrow. 8 to 12 footers is the anticipation. As a result, high surf advisories are issued and in effect until 6 p.m. 6 a.m. rather on Thursday with the possibility again for 8 to 12 footers. Strong currents as well. Coming up, we're tracking the swell. Plus, we've got details on the rest of your work week forecast. We'll go ahead and uh, toss it back to the desk. All right, thanks, Pete. Well, turning out to a scary situation on the Big Island, a 27-year-old woman recovering at Kona Hospital after being bitten by a shark this morning. Now, it all happened around 8 this morning while she, she was swimming off Napo'opo'o Park in Kalakekua Bay. Kona Community Hospital tells KITV4 that woman underwent surgery and is in stable condition. Now, right now, crews aren't sure what kind of shark this was, but they say it was around six feet long. There were dolphins near, uh, giving birth nearby, which may have caused more sharks to be in the area. But experts say the big issue here is that the water was murky at the time that this happened. Well, the sharks, uh, they make mistakes. You know, they may be looking for small fish and they, they see the flash of the white of the underside of your foot and they think it's a fish and they will go for it. Now, Big Island Fire Department says the tour operations in that area were halted because there were multiple sharks in the bay. Personnel went out on jet skis, as you see there, to help those in the water get back to shore. Now, as a precaution, crews have posted up warning signs until at least noon tomorrow, and they are asking swimmers there to avoid the area. New at 5, a 62-year-old woman died after the car she was driving went into the water in Hawaii Kai. Rescue divers spent the afternoon in Kuapa Pond just off New Malu Street in Mariner's Cove after a Mercedes went into the water. First responders checked to make sure there were no other passengers in the vehicle, which sank around noon. The vehicle was seen traveling at low speeds. Um, from what the witnesses saw, it looked like there was just one occupant. The vehicle didn't stop, ended up going into the water. Uh, the bystanders were brave enough to jump into the water and help that female. Two men, a nearby landscaper and a paddleboarder who heard the car hit the water, jumped into the pond to pull the woman out. They tell KITV she was unresponsive. The victim received CPR on shore and was taken to the hospital in critical condition where she later died. Police are investigating if it was a medical condition or some other reason behind the cause of the incident. Well, now to an update to breaking news we first brought you at noon. Kalaniana Ole Highway is in both directions is now back open after a brush fire shut down part of it uh, near Kealoho Street. The Honolulu Fire Department says that brush fire is now 100% contained after it burned four acres. No injuries were reported and that fire right now is still under investigation. A 35-year-old man on trial for killing another man outside a Waikiki bar last February will soon learn his fate. Cesson Perez took the stand in his own defense today. Jurors watched as Perez stepped through surveillance video taken outside the Irish Rose Saloon in Waikiki. In the video, you can see Perez punch Pil Sung Kim. Perez left the scene but later returned when he learned Kim stayed down. You had seen Mr. Kim fall to the ground, correct? Correct. So why did it surprise you? Because I, I just felt like he'll get back off. Kim hit his head on the pavement and died from his injuries about a week later. Perez is being held on a half a million dollars bail. The case is now in the hands of the jury. And new tonight, Honolulu prosecutors charged 20-year-old Chauncey Lopez with second-degree murder today. He's accused of killing his father, 54-year-old Sterling in Wa'anae, Sunday morning. Police arrived at their home on Kula Aupuni Street around 6.30 in the morning. Court documents report that Lopez's parents were in their bedroom when he stabbed Sterling in the back with a kitchen knife before leaving the room. Sterling was taken to a nearby hospital where he later died. Lopez is being held at a million dollars bail. The city and county of Honolulu issuing its first citations as part of those new restrictions on short-term rentals here on Oahu. Now, of course, you remember the city sending out thousands of warning letters to potential violators across the island. Well, now they're actually starting to crack down. Now, the city issued five notices of violation, two for homes in Kailua and three for units in a Waikiki high rise. Now, that violation gives them seven days to take down their listings from sites like Airbnb or face a $1,000 initial fine and up to $10,000 for each additional day that it's not taken down. Now, the city's department has been scouring sites like Airbnb to look for those violators, and they say more of those citations are coming soon. Now, those new rules restrict short-term rentals to only resort areas, including Ko'olina and parts of Waikiki. 
A good Samaritan alerted a family of four to a fire in their Kailua home early this morning. The Honolulu Fire Department says the second story of the home is gutted. Because of that neighbor, everyone got out safely. Fire officials break down what you should do if you wake up to a fire inside your house. You want to stay low because smoke is going to fill the room from the top up. It's kind of like filling up a container with water but upside down and it's smoke. It's gonna hit the top of the ceiling, it's gonna branch out until it fills that room and it's gonna slowly fill and bank down. If you stand head high, you, you, you may take your last few breaths and that may be it. The cause of the fire is under investigation. HFD says the home did have smoke detectors, but the residents are not sure whether they were working. A reminder to test each detector in your home at least once a month. And we're taking a live look outside in Nanakuli. Dozens of community members expected to wave signs tonight off Farrington Highway. They are in opposition of expanding a landfill near Lua Lua Lei. They also plan to attend tonight's neighborhood board meeting to strike down a planned vote that could allow the project to move forward. We'll have much more on this coming up tonight at 6. All right, well, fresh off her visit to Mauna Kea, Senator Maisie Hirono joined us right here this morning and had a lot to talk about. Still ahead, what the senator had to say about her conversations with protectors on the Mauna and why she felt it was important to go in person. KITV4 Island News is brought to you by Pacific Honda. It's the Honda Summer Spectacular event at Pacific Honda. Choose from thousands of 2019 Hondas at clearance prices. Find the best deal on a 2019 Honda Civic Sedan LX for $179 a month or a 2019 Honda Fit LX for $179 a month with a low 2.9% APR. Take advantage of our low leasing and financing deals. Plus, come down for a test drive and a chance to win a trip for two to Las Vegas courtesy of Vacations Hawaii. Pacific Honda, home of the happy Honda lovers. Hello, I'm Kalepa Baybayan, an active participant in the Voyaging Revival. And for the past 44 years, I've been a crew member, a captain, and navigator on board Hawaii's iconic Voyaging Canoes. As a native Hawaiian, I believe Mauna Kea is a deeply spiritual place. There is more than enough room for people to have their own practice, cultural practice, scientific research. We just need to have the collective will to share the Mauna. The plaza is a small community. Everyone knows your face. You will definitely find a group that is very friendly. I have three or four friends. We play cards every day. It started with a dining room. We were always together. We just click. We get to talking and forget the time. I think we are just like sisters. Yeah, yeah. yeah family already. The people make it feel like home. Want a real taste of New York? The Big New Yorker is back with a big, bold taste rolled into 16 inches of foldable crust. It's handmade to perfection with a sweet marinara sauce and your favorite topping. And at 30% larger than our large, the Big New Yorker is only $9.99 for carryout. Bring together your family and friends for a Big New Yorker party. Each pizza is just $9.99 for carryout. The Big New Yorker, so close you can taste it. Only at Hawaii Pizza Hut. It's the Honda Summer Spectacular event, which means more of this. The kind of elation you can only experience after getting a great deal on a Honda Civic or Civic Hatchback. Or an Accord. All come standard with the Honda Sensing suite of safety and driver assistive features. And as you can see, all will provide you with plenty of joy. Come be a part of it today. Get a great deal on the Honda Accord and find your happy place at the Honda Summer Spectacular event. You're watching KITV4 Island News. Welcome back. U.S. stocks snapped a three-day winning streak today, falling more than 170 points at closing. A survey by U.S. business economists finds that 34% believe there will be a recession by the end of 2021. And meanwhile, President Donald Trump continues to say that the country is not in financial trouble. ABC's Tara Palmieri reports how the White House may be taking steps to help bolster the economy. As the president downplays any talk of a looming recession, ABC News has learned that the White House is quietly scrambling to come up with a tax plan that might stimulate the economy. Our economy is incredible. Our jobs 
Uh, you look at the jobs market, but you have to be proactive. During the midterm elections, Trump promised a 10% tax cut for the middle class. But after the election, the idea was dropped. With the 2020 election looming and economic experts predicting more economic downturn, White House officials tell ABC News that they're considering additional tax cuts. Yeah, we're looking at various tax reductions. But I'm looking at that all the time anyway, tax reductions. That's one of the reasons we're in such a strong economic position. We're right now the number one country anywhere in the world by far. The U.S. Bureau of Economic Analysis predicts that the GDP will drop from 3.1 percent in quarter one to 2.1 percent in quarter two. Trump has touted the strong stock market as a sign of the success of his presidency. But just last week, the Dow tumbled 800 points in one day and then rallied the next. I think that, uh, that, that volatility is uh, really a function of uh, differing views about where the economy is headed. Still, the White House claims that the conditions could be worse under a Democratic president. Taxes would skyrocket. The stock market would tank. Jobs would vanish and we would get that recession these naysayers keep talking about. Even though he nominated Jerome Powell to the Federal Reserve Board, the president has blamed the chairman for the dip in the economy. As for Powell, he says he wants to continue to serve out his four-year term. Tara Palmieri, ABC News, Washington. Hawaii U.S. Senator Maisie Hirono is back in the island. She joined the Good Morning Hawaii team on set to talk about recession concerns and says the president is setting the stage. The fact of the matter is that this war, trade war, between the two biggest economies is very unsettling for people who want to uh, make investments, for example. So if you're a business, why would you invest in a situation where it's very uncertain what's going to happen? Hirono also emphasized how tariffs would hurt businesses and Americans. And while back on the islands, Hirono also made a quick visit to Mauna Kea over on the Big Island this week. This morning, the senator shared with us the reason behind that visit. I wanted to go up there and uh, um, have an opportunity to listen to the, the voices and the views of uh, the, the protectors there and uh, uh, to respect their, their right, really, in respecting their right to uh, civil disobedience. So it was a really, um, uh, it was a very respectful exchange. And um, I went there mainly to listen to their views, as I said, and, and, and they're very committed in what they're doing. Now, Hirono says she plans to return to Kona during her time here for business other than Mauna Kea. After a review by both federal and Hawaii emergency management agencies, some Hawaii Island residents are off the hook for $170,000. After last year's volcano eruption, dozens of residents applied for and received disaster assistance funds. In June, about 70 of them were flagged as possibly ineligible. But after meeting with the residents, FEMA and Haima determined about half did qualify. About 30 others will still need to pay that money back. And new tonight, the Hawaiian Humane Society announced today it's named Anna Neubauer as its new president and CEO, effective mid-October. The certified veterinary tech was most recently with the Dumb Friends League in Colorado. She's also a co-founder of the Fort Collins Cat Rescue and Spay and Neuter Clinic in Colorado and has been a shelter leadership instructor at Colorado State University. Now, the last CEO, Lisa Fowler, resigned back in April after former employees accused her of mismanagement and euthanizing healthy animals. Well, University of Hawaii students back to school on Monday, so hopefully drivers still enjoying a pretty tranquil experience during the evening rush hour. I don't know. Yeah, let's hope so. Let's <laughs> hopefully hope so. it's tranquil, <laughs> Pete. <laughs> Close, yeah. close enough, a lot better than it's going to be. Let's put it that way. Let's go ahead and take a look at your right. Uh, school going to be back in session. That's going to add at least about 10 minutes to these drive times. Let's take a look at it right now. And uh, you know what? We're moving along uh, as we head out to the west side, slow through Pearl City uh, uh, into the uh, east side. Not looking bad now. We did have a, a brush fire earlier near the Waikai Golf Course, and that did briefly shut down Pontiac Ole Highway. That has been reopened, and things are moving along fine there. So no major concerns right now. We'll take you out through Pearl City, IAEA, and you can see solid volume heading out to the west side. East side, though, you're moving along nicely as you'd expect. You do slow down, though, if you're heading into town from middle through Ward Street. Big surf out there. We're tracking that big swell. How long will it stick around? Your forecast after the break. Hawaii's Remarkable Women is sponsored by Levitt, Yamane, and Soldner. 
he was a single father, so it's just me and my sister. So we grew up pretty tight with just the three of us. Natasha's world got turned upside down when her sister called about their father's accident. The whole truck was burning. They don't know if he's gonna live. Three months in the hospital, a month in rehab, and just for him to do things on his own took two years. Tasha knew she needed help and called Levitt, Yamane, and Soldner. They removed all of that worry. So anytime um, insurance would call me, bills were being sent to us, they told us to just send it to them. John Yamani, he was an anchor during the most hardest time in our family. Levitt, Yamane, and Soldner can help you too. LYSlaw.com. My dad still tries to be active and he still tries to swim and he brings his cane all the way to the ocean to go into the water and my dad's my rock. Every internet and TV provider promises you their best, but the other guys have that. And this little mark hides some big restrictions, like the fact you have to sign a contract and that they have early termination fees. With Spectrum, you get our best every day with no contracts, no early termination fees, and dozens of extras free, like a free modem and security suite with Spectrum Internet, delivering more speed more consistently for the best surfing, streaming, and gaming. Get Spectrum Internet for $44.99 a month. Call 643-9595. Then enjoy the best in local programming with more free HD and more free on demand with Spectrum TV. Get Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 643-9595. Upgrade to the best. Get Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 a month each. Call 643-9595. You wouldn't accept an incomplete job from anyone else. Why accept it from your allergy pills? Flonase Sensivist. Nothing stronger. Nothing gentler. Nothing lasts longer. Flonase Sensivist. 24-hour non-drowsy allergy relief. Pack your bags and be ready to go to Las Vegas instantly with Vacations Hawaii and KITV4 Island News. Enter at KITV.com and watch Good Morning Hawaii to see if you're the winner. Then be ready to go to Vegas with Vacations Hawaii that week. Pack your bags. We go Vegas. I will take you out to the South Shore. This is just off of Kualos. You can see some large waves right there, but uh, not the 10 to 12 footers. Some locations we'll see later on tonight, but still some very large surf. And a lot of folks may be thinking about getting in the water because of the heat and just take some caution because even though it looks good out there, the waves may not look all that big. These waves come in sets and those sets can be anywhere between 20 and 40 minutes between them. So it can look good, it can look fine for 10, 20 minutes and then here comes some huge waves moving in. 87 degrees of current temperature, east northeast winds at 20. Speaking of with, which, high surf advisories are in effect. So we are anticipating surf to peak tonight, potentially in some of those bigger spots. So not everywhere, but those bigger surf spots. 10, maybe up to 12 feet. Again, as we mentioned, there's long periods between those sets. So you'll see a set of huge waves roll through, and then it can be 20, maybe up to 40 minutes until that next large set rolls through. So if you get out there in between, it might be kind of lulled into a little bit of false sense of safety. So you want to obviously watch the water, give it at least a half hour to 40 minutes before you jump in kind of to look at where those waves are, are breaking. Dangerous breaking waves will be with us not only for tonight into our Wednesday as well. In fact, we're expecting eight to possibly 12 footers to be around tomorrow morning as well. So tomorrow morning for surfers, Looking really good, especially early on. East Shore is 3 to 5. 6 to 9, we have a small west swell combining with our south swell. So even west shores getting a little bit of an out-of-season bump there. This surf will be solid tomorrow, especially in the morning then start to fade as we head into early on Thursday. As for rainfall, not much here on Oahu, not much for Kauai, and most of the islands looking relatively dry. A couple light showers for parts of Windward, Maui, Big Island, not looking a whole lot. We've been tracking two systems out in the eastern Pacific. The one that's just off the, the shore of Mexico could develop in a tropical depression. This one looking less impressive today, but we'll keep an eye on both of them. Computer models keep the one off the coast of Mexico, near Mexico. The other one, though, will start to drift more towards the central Pacific, so we'll keep an eye on both of these areas. Not a threat right now, but 
areas to watch. 78 for tonight, partly cloudy. As we head into tomorrow, more of the same. Highs close to 91 degrees. Our trades are around but they are going to get lighter on Thursday. We'll talk more about that change in the trades, a weak frontal boundary, and we're going island by island. That's all coming up. Of course, more on the surf as well at 6. You're watching KITV4 Island News at 5. KITV4 Island News, sponsored by Hawaiian Electric Companies. It's only a golden opportunity if you take it. Seize the Lexus you've always wanted. Now with our most advanced safety technology ever. Lease the first ever UX for $339 a month, or the RX Wailua edition for $459 a month. Or purchase the UX or RX at just 1.9% APR. Visit servcolexus.com for exceptional offers on our full line of vehicles. And grab it. The Golden Opportunity Sales Event, only at Servco Lexus. Mothers at Kaiser Permanente have an amazing amount of choices. Our goal is to provide women with the best childbirth experience that they can have. Occasionally, we do have some newborns who need help. That's when the neonatal intensive care unit comes in. We have babies who are born at less than a pound. We are equipped to take care of them. We are there for you at every step of the way. When they go home, the joy that I see in that family, it's what I live for, and that's why I do what I do. I switched from Dodge. We switched from Ford. I switched from Ram. I switched to Chevy. We switched to Chevy. We switched to Chevy. For dependability. For these guys. And just look at it. We, we switched, switched to, to Chevy. Chevy. See for yourself why people are switching at the Chevy All-Star Open House. Get 0% financing plus $2,000 cash allowance when you finance with GM Financial. Or get 20% below MSRP on all Silverado double cab pickups. See your Hawaii Chevy dealer. After I really looked around and saw Hawaii and its people for what it was, I couldn't think of living anyplace else. Personal injury is what we do. We help people recover compensation for their personal injury claims. We're going to take care of everything. All you have to do is worry about getting better. At Recovery Law Center, our promise to you is that we'll be in the recovery with you. Here's your Buick, sir. Actually, that's my Buick. How are we gonna fit in your mom's Buick? Easy. I like that new Buick. Me too. I was actually talking about that Buick. I knew that. Did you? Buick's fresh new lineup is full of surprises. Current eligible non-GM owners and lessees get 20% below MSRP on most 2019 Buick Encore models. That's over 5,300 below MSRP on this 2019 Buick Encore Preferred. Welcome back. We'll take a look at this. Some strong winds sending dozens of air mattresses flying through the air. Wow, about 150 mattresses were being set up for an outdoor <laughs> movie night in Denver, Colorado. Wow. Guess that didn't happen. Well, one witness called this the great mattress migration of 2019. <laughs> and you can see people trying to wrangle them up. No luck. You're, you're not going to be able to catch all those. The man who shot that video says this went on for about half an hour. Wow. That is incredible. I, and you mentioned the movie. I thought it was for a movie shooting, and mm, no. Yeah, that's something you see every day. This, this maybe could be a scene in a movie. Yeah, yeah. You, you would think that. Now, uh, you know what? So big waves, we were talking about that earlier. And not only people riding these waves today, we've got some four legged friends jumping on those waves. For the fifth year in a row, Duke's Ocean Fest included a canine competition. So cute, giving these pups of all sizes a chance to hang 10 on the boards. <laughs> Dozens of dogs joined in on the event, with some even teaming up on the same board for some tandem rides. It was definitely some rough surf out there, though. Mm -hmm. for They're sure. so comfortable, though. They're calm and fun, just riding Feeling those Feeling the breeze. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, coming up on KITV4 Island News at 6 tonight, it's not your typical celebration. Our Mika Miyashima joining us live in the newsroom tonight. Mika. Well, Ani, Tom, to commemorate its 175th anniversary, Oahu Cemetery is planning something different this year. Public walking tours plus music, all to honor some notable people buried there. We'll tell you who, plus the state's new plan to preserve the state bird, why the nene is causing problems near the Lihue Airport on Kauai. We've got those stories and much more coming up tonight on KTV4 Island News at 6. All right, thanks, Mika. Well, up next is World News Tonight with David Muir. Experience the bold, crispy, mouth-watering flavors Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen is serving up in each and every bite. Providing closed captioning for KITV4 Island News. 
I switched from Dodge. We switched from Ford. I switched from Ram. I switched to Chevy. We switched to Chevy. We switched to Chevy. For dependability. For these guys. And just look at it. We, we switched, switched to Chevy. Chevy. See for yourself why people are switching at the Chevy All-Star Open House. Get 0% financing plus $2,000 cash allowance when you finance with GM Financial. Or get 20% below MSRP on all Silverado double cab pickups. See your Hawaii Chevy dealer. Going out tonight? Maybe we can help. We can slap some bling on you. Set you up with a sweet ride. We'll get you a room. And if you're lucky, you may even have a companion for the night. Drive sober or get pulled over. It's the Toyotaly Great, Toyotaly Terrific, Toyotaly Awesome sales event at your Surfco Toyota dealers. Get the all-new 2020 Corolla LE for just $18,995. The 2019 Camry LE is only $22,695. Or choose the 2019 CHR XLE for $22,995. Hurry, sale ends August 31st. It's the Toyotaly Awesome sales event at your Surfco Toyota dealers. Tonight, your money as the economy takes center stage in the race for 2020. I don't see a recession. So, from the China trade wars to the warning from some economists, we have a fact check. World News Tonight with David Muir, America's most watched newscast. You know, you don't need to wait on the sun to say good morning, Hawaii. Lots of people are up before dawn, and we are too. Join Good Morning Hawaii weekdays at 4.30 in the morning to get an early start on everything you need for your day. Diana Co. Weekends only on KITV4 Island News. Tonight, the new arrests. Authorities say three new threats of mass shootings. Authorities sweeping in and arrest this teenager who they say made threats to shoot up his school, allegedly saying, I will vow to bring my father's M15 to class. Also tonight, two other alleged threats in two different states, what we know. Also tonight, the search for this man who police say showed up at a college campus and killed a former administrator what they found under the victim's car, the bag, and what was inside. The severe weather threat right now, three tornadoes just confirmed the storms moving from the Midwest to the East Coast at this hour, and Rob has the track. The massive search right now for two firefighters lost at sea, what authorities have found. President Trump tonight asked about a possible recession because of his trade war with China. The president suggesting a two-month recession could be the result of a much needed trade war. Meantime, the race for 2020 and what Joe Biden's wife, Dr. Jill Biden, is saying about her husband, her main argument for 2020. The American father accused of killing a hotel worker, he says he was defending his family, returning to that Caribbean island to face manslaughter charges tonight. He says he would do it again. The outrage, a room full of teenagers appearing to give the Nazi salute major questions about the school's response. And your health tonight, new guidelines for gene testing when it comes to breast cancer, and ovarian cancer. This is ABC World News Tonight with David Muir. Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here on a very busy Tuesday night, and we begin tonight with a disturbing new headline after El Paso and Dayton tonight, news of three new threats. Three new arrests. Authorities say these threats of mass shootings in three separate states. Police in Florida handcuffing this 15-year-old boy with his mother by his side. He's accused of threatening to take his father's assault-style weapon to school to shoot several other people. These new arrests come on the heels of three other threats, at least a half dozen in the last week. The FBI warning about a rise in domestic terror and possible copycat shooters, and authorities believe this is proof of that. ABC's Victor Kendo leads us off. You're watching police body cam video of a 15-year-old Florida boy whose face has been blurred being arrested in front of his mother by two officers for allegedly threatening to shoot up his school. Authorities reading that threat aloud to the teen and his mother. I, Dalton Barnhart, vow to bring my father's M15 to school and kill seven people. He's a he did anything wrong. Yes, he's 15, but he's still a little boy, and he's not one of the crazy people out there doing stuff. Tonight, police releasing the 15-year-old's mugshot, which we blurred. His comment was reported to the FBI. A written threat is a second-degree felony in Florida. Across the country, police say they've potentially thwarted several mass shooting threats. 
In Indianapolis, 38-year-old truck driver Thomas Matthew McVicker was arrested. Authorities say they stopped him less than a week before he planned on attacking a church in Memphis. In the criminal complaint, police saying McVicker said, I was thinking about shooting a church up, but I'm afraid how it will affect my family in the flesh after I'm gone. And in Seattle, 35-year-old Eric Lynn was arrested for allegedly writing threatening messages to a woman on Facebook. He also allegedly wrote that he would kill all Hispanics in Miami and other places. There have been a string of mass killing threats in the last few days, including 20-year-old James Reardon from Ohio, who police say threatened to shoot up a Jewish community center and posted this disturbing video on his Instagram. And this dramatic police body cam video. Weapons we need to know about. Capturing the moment, Florida officials arrested Tristan Wicks in Daytona Beach Shores after he allegedly texted his girlfriend his intentions to shoot as many as he could, writing a good 100 kills would be nice. Victor Kendall with us live tonight, and Victor authorities I know are on high alert in the wake of these recent mass shootings across the country. And do we know any motives in any of these cases yet? Well, David, while we know the FBI warned of potential copycats after El Paso and Dayton, no motives have been revealed in any of these six cases. Authorities questioning them all tonight, and they continue to urge the public to be on the lookout. David. Victor, thank you. And now to the urgent manhunt in California at this hour. A suspect wanted for the stabbing death of a former administrator at Cal State Fullerton. Surveillance tonight showing the suspect right there dressed in black running from the scene in a parking lot. And what police found under the victim's car, the suspect's backpack, and what they found inside. ABC's Adrian Bankert from California tonight. Tonight, police releasing the surveillance video of who they say is a killer on the loose. The first images of the suspect in a violent homicide on the Cal State Fullerton campus. Authorities say this video shows the suspect running from the parking lot where 57-year-old Stephen Chan, a retired college administrator who was working as a consultant on campus, was found on Monday bleeding to death from multiple stab wounds. Police tonight releasing this sketch of the suspect, an Asian man in his mid 20s with black hair wearing dark clothing. He was seen driving off in this black newer model BMW. Officers using bloodhounds to scour the scene. This was a targeted killing. Sadly, we believe that the suspect came here specifically with the intent to harm the victim. Police also say they found a backpack underneath the victim's car. Inside the backpack was an incendiary device. Also found inside the backpack were multiple items that one would potentially use to kidnap somebody. Those items reportedly include zip ties and wigs. And David, police say that they believe the killer has cuts and lacerations to his own hands. Investigators say that anyone connected to the victim right now is considered a possible suspect. David. Adrian Bankert reporting in. Adrian, thank you. Now to the severe storm threat at this hour. Damaging winds, hail, and possible tornadoes from Nebraska all the way to the East Coast. In fact, three confirmed tornadoes damaging homes in Iowa, including one touching down on Lacona. At least one was an EF1. They confirmed these twisters just a short time ago. Down power lines catching fire. These images from Burlington County, New Jersey. Those storms moving into the east tonight and the northeast tomorrow. So let's get right to meteorologist Rob Marciano. Of course, as always, tracking it all for us. Hey, Rob. Hi, Dave. Another active night of summer storms. Several frontal boundaries sparking this heat and humidity. We got a watch box that's up for our nation's capital. Check it out on the radar scope there. It includes Baltimore. Another one that includes much of Kentucky. That one has a pretty strong front that's pushing those storms, and that front will be on the move tomorrow. So storms along that front and closer to the warm front here in the northeast, where the zone for potentially damaging storms will be from Philly to New York through much, if not all, of New England. Dangerous lightning as well. David. Rob Marciano tonight. Thank you, Rob. Next this evening, the massive search intensifying at this hour for two missing firefighters lost at sea off the coast of Florida. Our camera on board just one of the dozens of boats helping to search over four full days now. The men vanished while fishing and some of their equipment has now been recovered. ABC's Steve Osinsami is in Florida tonight. More than 200 volunteers and 75 boats are out in the Atlantic Ocean tonight looking for any trace of the missing firefighters. Many of the searchers are firefighters themselves, some from the same firehouse in Jacksonville, Florida, where Brian McClooney was a six-year veteran. He would be right out here searching for anybody that was missing as well. So. McClooney and his friend Justin Walker went fishing Friday and are last seen here in this image from a security camera. You're holding hope. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. This is a rescue mission. Walker's wife is seen here today getting on a search plane. I need to be up there. I feel like I'm searching too. 
The search area is beyond massive. The two men left from Port Canaveral, hours south of Jacksonville. Authorities are now searching as far as 100 miles north of this area and another 70 miles east into the ocean. On Monday, a volunteer found this tackle bag that belongs to one of the missing firefighters, but it was more than 100 miles from where the men went missing. Stephanie McClooney hopes that her husband put the bag in the water on purpose like a breadcrumb to his location. He strategically took out heavy items. He only had things that he knew we could identify. There's a bit of talk here about a debris field, but authorities here say they can't put too much stock into that because there's plenty of trash in the ocean. They do say they have recovered the cover of a cooler that might belong to the two men. David. All right, Steve Osinsami in Jacksonville. Thanks, Steve. Now to President Trump tonight, who today was asked about a possible recession because of his trade war with China. The president conceding a, quote, two-month recession, in his words, could be the result of what he describes as a much-needed trade war. The president also contradicting his own aides, who said there was not a payroll tax cut in the works, but what the president said today when asked. Here's ABC senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega tonight. President Trump today defending his trade war with China, saying it's worth it even if it hurts the economy. Whether it's good for our country or bad for our country short term, long term it's imperative that somebody does this. I am doing this whether it's good or bad for your, your statement about, oh, will we fall into a recession for two months, okay? The fact is somebody had to take China on. And the smart people say thank you very much. And the dumb people have no idea. The president standing his ground despite growing concern his trade war could help bring on a recession. A new study today says the president's 10% tariff on Chinese goods could cost American families an additional $1,000 each year. The White House now trying to tamp down economic fears during a re-election campaign, but their messaging far from consistent. This morning, aides insisted a payroll tax cut is not on the table. Is a payroll this tax economic cut expansion? being considered? Uh, it's not being considered at this time. But just hours later... Payroll tax is something that we think about, and a lot of people would like to see that, and that very much affects the, working, the workers of, of our country, and we have a lot of workers. Still, the president insists there will not be a tax cut anytime soon. He's promised tax cuts before for the middle class ahead of last year's midterms, only to abandon the idea after Election Day. Let's get right to Cecilia Vegas. She's live at the briefing room tonight because there was a lot of news out of the White House today. As you know, Cecilia, President Trump also making headlines with new attacks tonight. Again, Congresswoman Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib as well. The president uh, recently, of course, pressured Israel into trying to block the congressman from uh, visiting today. Uh, as you know, he said this. Where has the Democratic Party gone? Where have they gone where they're defending these two people over the state of Israel? And I think any Jewish people that vote for a Democrat, uh, I think it shows either a total lack of knowledge or great disloyalty. Cecilia made immediate headlines. Oh, David, it certainly did, particularly from some of the country's largest and most prominent Jewish organizations. The head of the Anti-Defamation League says that it is time to stop using Jews as political footballs. He says charges of disloyalty have long been used to attack the Jewish people. And David, tonight from the American Jewish Committee, they're calling these comments, quote, divisive, disrespectful, and unwelcome. Cecilia Vega, always good to have you. Thank you. And the new headline tonight in the race for 2020, Joe Biden's wife, Dr. Jill Biden, and what she said about her husband, even if he's not your favorite candidate, that that should not be the deciding factor, according to her. Here's Mary Bruce. Jill Biden with a blunt appeal to voters. You may like another candidate better, but you have to look at who is going to win. Her pitch, even if you're not with Joe Biden on every issue, you should support him anyway if you want to beat Trump. You know, your candidate might be better on, I don't know, health care than Joe is. But you've got to look at who's going to win this election. And maybe you have to swallow a little bit and say, OK, I sort of personally like so-and-so better. But your bottom line has to be that we have to beat Trump. In Iowa today, the former vice president asked about his wife's comments. She was making the case. You should pick the person you think could win because none of our issues will matter if Donald Trump wins. That was the point she was making. It's also the point he's making in his first campaign ad. We have to beat Donald Trump. And all the polls agree Joe Biden is the strongest Democrat to do the job. Mary, any reaction tonight from the other Democratic candidates? 
Well, David, no response directly to Joe Biden's comments, but Biden's opponents say they can beat Trump, too. They argue that voters don't have to make this choice, that they can follow their principles and still defeat the president. David. Mary Bruce, live in Washington. Thanks, Mary. Now to major developments tonight in the Jeffrey Epstein case. Three more alleged victims today suing his estate, claiming they were recruited and sexually abused. And two say it happened while he was under house arrest and during work release while he was wearing an ankle bracelet. Here's Lindsay Davis. Tonight, three new accusers are taking aim at the estate of Jeffrey Epstein, including two women who claim they were coerced into sex with Epstein during his work release back in 2009. The alleged incidents took place at his office and his home, while Epstein was even wearing an ankle monitor. He was having office visitors, some who were flown to him from New York, and continuing to engage in similar conduct literally while he was in quote-unquote jail. One accuser claims she was 17 when she was first groomed by Epstein in New York back in 2007. During the same time, he was under federal investigation for alleged sex crimes against more than 30 minor girls. It comes as we're learning new details about Epstein's will, signed just two days before his suicide. His estate, valued at nearly $578 million, including $56 million in cash and $18 million in planes, cars and boats. The value of his collection of artwork and antiques still subject to appraisal. Epstein's sole surviving relative is his brother, Mark. Now, we know that Epstein set up a trust. We just don't know who the beneficiaries are. But we do know that many of these alleged victims were seeking justice. And now they won't get a criminal trial against Epstein by filing some of these lawsuits. Their attorneys are going after those assets, David. Lindsay Davis with us again tonight. Lindsay, thank you. Now to a high school in California under fire tonight just before the start of the new school year. Disturbing new video appearing to show teenagers giving a Nazi salute. The Garden Grove School District says it happened last November at an off-campus banquet. The school telling ABC News tonight it became aware of the video months later and, quote, it strongly condemns the behavior, though school officials are refusing to say how they handed out any punishment. There is still much more ahead on World News Tonight this Tuesday. The former Major League Baseball players facing charges tonight will tell you what they're accused of. Also, the father accused of killing a hotel worker now breaking his silence tonight on the eve of his return to a Caribbean island to now face manslaughter charges. He says he would do it again to protect his family. Your health tonight, there are new guidelines for gene testing that doctors hope could help detect breast cancer and ovarian cancer. We'll have the details on that. And Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, why they faced backlash and why Elton John is stepping in tonight. He was a longtime friend of Princess Diana. He did not like what he saw with her, and he's not happy with what he's seeing so far with Duchess Meghan. A lot more news ahead tonight. The good news, our comfort lasts all day. The bad news, so does his energy. New Depend FitFlex underwear offers your best comfort and protection guaranteed. Because perfect or not, life's better when you're in it. Be there with Depend. The good news, our protection lasts all day. The bad news, your patients might not. New Depend FitFlex underwear offers your best comfort and protection guaranteed. Because perfect or not, life's better when you're in it. Be there with Depend. I had a heart problem. I was told to begin my aspirin regimen. I just didn't listen until I almost lost my life. My doctors again ordered me to take aspirin, and I do. Be sure to talk to your doctor before you begin an aspirin regimen. Listen to the doctor. Take it seriously. I struggled with depression. I thought I needed cigarettes to cope. I was able to quit smoking, and then I started running. Now I feel a lot better. You can quit. For free help, call 1-800-QUIT-NOW. I would get muscle cramps several times a week for decades. And in a few days of using TheraWorks Relief, the cramps are gone because it works. Get TheraWorks Relief today in stores everywhere. How would I describe overpaying on a used car? It's humiliating. And it's expensive. I just trusted the wrong used car sites. Yeah. Carfax has a better way. Only Carfax.com can give you the most accurate price based on the Carfax report. So you never have to overpay on a used car again. But, uh, I guess life goes on. So, all right, come on, boy. Here we go. Let's go, buddy. Stop the shame of overpaying and start your used car search today at the all-new Carfax.com. This is PillPack. It's my new pharmacy. They package my medication by the dose and deliver it right to my door. And the best part... Their service is free. I only pay my co-pays. Does your pharmacy do that? PillPack.
an Amazon company. Next tonight, here, a Connecticut father charged with killing a hotel worker during a family vacation in the Caribbean. Tonight, he's breaking his silence one day before he goes back to face manslaughter charges. He says he would do it again. Here's Eva Pilgrim. Tonight, the Connecticut dad accused of manslaughter after killing a hotel worker at a five-star Caribbean resort, breaking his silence. It's been a living nightmare. Scott Hapgood was vacationing with his wife and three kids in Anguilla in April when he says Kenny Mitchell came to the door in uniform claiming he needed to fix a sink. But Hapgood says Mitchell pulled a knife on him and demanded money, claiming Mitchell then stabbed and bit him during a struggle. Hapgood's daughters ran for help. Officials say Mitchell died of positional asphyxia and blunt force injuries. It was a terrifying incident. I know that. Uh, I was a victim, or my family was a victim here. I think that the truth will come out. A toxicology report obtained by ABC News shows Mitchell had a blood alcohol level more than twice the U.S. legal limit and had cocaine and marijuana in his system. ABC News has not independently verified the report, and authorities in Anguilla would not confirm the results. David Hapgood says he acted in self-defense, protecting his family, something he says he'd do again if he had to. David. All right, Eva, thank you. When we come back, new guidelines for gene testing when it comes to breast cancer and ovarian cancer. Also tonight, the middle school teacher murder just two weeks into the school year. And Elton John furious tonight. He was a close friend of Princess Diana and what he's now saying about Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan. The Index is next. I work hard and I want my money to work hard too. So I use my Freedom Unlimited cards. Even when I'm spending, I'm earning 1.5% cash back on everything I buy. Earn on my favorite soup. Ah, got it. Earning on Daddy Claire. No, don't touch it. Don't touch it yet. Let me get the big one. Nope. This one? Nope. This one? No. Let me get them all. Let me get them all. Just the basics. Can you double bag this right here? I earn 1.5% cash back on everything you buy with Freedom Unlimited. Can you also tell me what it is? Chase, make more of what's yours. Take Prilosec OTC and take control of heartburn. So you don't have to stash antacids here. Here. Or here. Kick your antacid habit with Prilosec OTC. One pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn. One out of six vehicles have been recalled because of dangerous Takata airbags. One of them could be yours. Go to saveairbags.com to see if your vehicle is on the recall list. It could save your life. Since my DVT blood clot, I was thinking, could there be another around the corner? Or could it turn out differently? I wanted to help protect myself. My doctor recommended Eliquis. Eliquis is proven to treat and help prevent another DVT or PE blood clot. Almost 98% of patients on Eliquis didn't experience another, and Eliquis has significantly less major bleeding than the standard treatment. Eliquis is FDA approved and has both. Don't stop Eliquis unless your doctor tells you to. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve or abnormal bleeding. If you had a spinal injection while on Eliquis, call your doctor right away if you have tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. While taking Eliquis, you may bruise more easily, and it may take longer than usual for bleeding to stop. Seek immediate medical care for sudden signs of bleeding like unusual bruising. Eliquis may increase your bleeding risk if you take certain medicines. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. What's around the corner could be surprising. Ask your doctor about Eliquis. Fact is, every insurance company hopes you drive safely. But Allstate helps you with DriveWise. Feedback that helps you drive safer. And that could lower your cost. Now that you know the truth, are you in good hands? After walking six miles at an amusement park, Bill's back needed a vacation from his vacation. So he stepped on the Dr. Schultz kiosk. It recommends our best custom fit orthotic to relieve foot, knee, or lower back pain so you can move more. Dr. Schultz, born to move. To the index of other news, and a middle school teacher killed in Southern California. Authorities say 24-year-old Nancy Magana was with her boyfriend and her little son in her boyfriend's truck when an unidentified gunman opened fire at San Bernardino Park. She was just two weeks into the job. Two former Major League Baseball players are under arrest tonight. Retired pitcher Octavio Dotel is in custody and former infielder Louis Castillo cited as well as authorities in the Dominican Republic moved in to arrest more than a dozen people in an alleged drug laundering operation. Castillo has denied the allegations. Elton John coming to the defense of Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan. The royal couple outspoken environmental advocates traveling to France with baby son Archie 
on Elton John's private jet, prompting accusations and headlines of hypocrisy. The music legend, a close friend of Princess Diana, calling the attacks distorted and malicious, adding he feels, quote, a profound sense of obligation to protect Harry and his family from press attacks that he says contributed to Diana's death. Your health tonight and new guidelines. Doctors hope will improve breast cancer screening. Currently, women with a family history of cancer are urged to do a genetic risk assessment. Now, medical officials also want doctors to consider a patient's personal medical history, which could lead to identifying the BRCA1 or BRCA2 genes that greatly increase breast and ovarian cancer risk. They hope the targeted screening will help save lives through earlier detection. Ask your doctor. When we come back tonight to the rescue for a beloved drama teacher. With moderate to severe Crohn's disease, I was there. Just not always where I needed to be. Is she all right? I hope so. So I talked to my doctor about Humira. I learned Humira is for people who still have symptoms of Crohn's disease after trying other medications. And the majority of people on Humira saw significant symptom relief, and many achieved remission in as little as four weeks. Humira can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious, sometimes fatal infections and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Before treatment, get tested for TB. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common. And if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections, or have flu-like symptoms or sores, don't start Humira if you have an infection. Be there for you and them. Ask your gastroenterologist about Humira. With Humira, remission is possible. Most homeowners draw a blank when asked what their home projects should cost. That's why at Home Advisor, you can see what others paid for similar jobs in your area. Start your next home project knowing what you should pay. Go to HomeAdvisor.com or download the free app. Sleep this amazing? That's a Z-Quil Pure Z Sleep. Our liquid has a unique botanical blend, while an optimal melatonin level means no next day grogginess. z -Quil Pure Z's, naturally superior sleep. My Beneful Superfood Blend has me feeling super healthy with salmon, cranberries. Oh, but we are not done yet. Here comes Superfood Wet with beef, salmon, and pumpkin. It's like a superfood sundae on a Monday. Beneful Superfood Blend dry and wet recipes. This is Fracture. Just upload an image, place your order, and it'll show up at your door, beautifully printed directly on glass. And this isn't just another frame, not just another canvas. This is new. This is a Fracture. Visit FractureMe.com and print one today. It's tough to quit smoking cold turkey. So Chantix can help you quit slow turkey. Along with support, Chantix is proven to help you quit. With Chantix, you can keep smoking at first and ease into quitting. Chantix reduces the urge so when the day arrives, you'll be more ready to kiss cigarettes goodbye. When you try to quit smoking, with or without Chantix, you may have nicotine withdrawal symptoms. Stop Chantix and get help right away if you have changes in behavior or thinking, aggression, hostility, depressed mood, suicidal thoughts or actions, seizures, new or worse harder blood vessel problems, sleepwalking, or life-threatening allergic and skin reactions. Decrease alcohol use. Use caution driving or operating machinery. Tell your doctor if you've had mental health problems. The most common side effect is nausea. Quit smoking, slow turkey. Talk to your doctor about Chantix. Tomorrow, get ready to dance. Because all the new stars of the new cast of Dancing with the Stars will be revealed live on GMA by... Good morning, America! And just wait till you see who's dancing this season. Finally tonight here, the beloved drama teacher and one of life's unexpected tests. His students right there with him. We team up with WCIV tonight for America Strong. Right there with all of his students, a beloved drama teacher at Cane Bay High School in Charleston, South Carolina. Eddie Hall in his black sweatshirt. They were performing Hairspray. So much to be thankful for, including his new wife, Jessica. After the honeymoon, his biggest test yet. Two days later, they told me that I was in kidney failure, 15% and needed a transplant. He needed a kidney transplant and fast. An anonymous donor was found and Eddie went in for surgery. Doing all right, Eddie? Yes, ma'am. All right. In that hospital room, along with Eddie's wife, so many of his students. I don't want him to ever go without knowing that we love him. 
They were there for him. And hours later, Mr. Hall's surgeons told his wife and his students awesome. it was a success. Absolutely. Thank you. It was definitely worth that group hug. Get in here. Everyone get in here. Tonight, he is back at school, ready for another year. It's night and day. I feel fine. He's running circles around me. I'm exhausted. <laughs> but the story doesn't end there.